Hello, it's Cindy at the Holistic Parenting and Sleep Center, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top five, no six, products <laughs> for helping your kids and especially your infant sleep. So uh, one product that I really love, and my sons actually love too, is an oil diffuser. Um, I put lavender oil in it, and when my kids are sick, we maybe put mint or eucalyptus or tea tree oil or something like that in with the lavender. But my kids love filling up the oil diffuser before they go to bed. They actually fight over it, which is a whole nother video for another day. But an oil diffuser with lavender oil is an amazing addition to your sleep routine, especially if you get that going in there a little bit before bedtime, and then the room has like a really lovely sleepy smell. When my kids were little, they used to make, there was this one company that I loved that made this lavender um, room spray. And so I would go and spray their bedrooms before they went to sleep. And I'd spray a little bit of spray like in their cribs or on their pillows, but they don't make it anymore. Unfortunately, it makes me really sad. I used to give this spray to my friends and family when they would have babies because I loved it so much. Um, and then along with lavender spray, if you are comfortable putting Epsom salt in the bathtub, put some lavender Epsom salt in your child's bath. Epsom salt itself has tons of health benefits. You can go online and look them all up, but they're, you know, the minerals and stuff in the salt is supposed to help draw toxins out of your body. It's supposed to help relax your muscles. So when my kids are, are sick or when I'm sick, I use tons of Epsom salts. Um, we just went to Disney World and we bought Epsom salts to take baths in after we got done with Disney World because our legs were all so sore. Um, a co-sleeper is a fantastic product if you have an infant. There are a few different co-sleepers that you can get out there. It's a little bassinet that goes right next to your bed. Um, if you want to room share but aren't super on board with the idea of bed sharing, then this is a great in-between because your baby can be really, really close to you but also in their own separate sleep space. And when my one son was younger, we had... I think it was called the Arms Reach Co-Sleeper. It's been so many years, but it had wheels on it and it had a little shelf underneath where we would put diapers and things like that. And we mostly stayed on one story of our house when he was a baby. And so I would wheel that thing from room to room and anytime it was time for me to put him down because I needed to tend to my other child, I just plopped him in that co-sleep our bassinet and then when it was time for naps and bedtime I would just wheel him back into or I would wheel the co-sleeper I would hold him I wouldn't wheel him in the co-sleeper but I would wheel the co-sleeper back to the bedroom and put him to bed but that thing got so much use uh in the first few months of his life and uh it was just so handy to have something portable that I could keep moving around my house where I could put him in it and you know if I was reading a book uh, I could bring it next to the couch or if I was playing with my other son and I could lay him in that uh, co-sleeper for a few minutes and he would be fine uh, no matter where I was in my house. Um, a Swaddle Me Swaddle is a fantastic product to have for an infant. I used this with both of my kids and the reason why I loved it is because in the middle of the night, I did not want to be doing what I like to call swaddle origami, where you're doing the whole swaddle yourself. In the middle of the night, I just wanted to pop my kids in and out of the swaddle so I could change their diapers without having to do swaddle origami. So the Swaddle Me Co-Sleeper has Velcro right here, so you can pull it as snug as you want across your baby's arms and chest. And then it has a nice loose pocket for their hips because you want to make sure their hips are loose so that they can have uh, the ability to move their hips and, you know, go to the bathroom and whatever if they need to. So the Swaddle Me Swaddle. That would always be in my kit for new parents too. That and that lavender spray that they don't make anymore. Now these two things aren't necessarily for newborns because newborns don't have the ability to differentiate day and night the way older kids do. But past four months, then you start to see some ability to differentiate. So 
my two favorite products for older infants and even all the way up to adults that I recommend to every single family that I work with are yellow or amber light bulbs and uh, Eclipse blackout curtains. So the reason I love these light bulbs is because light that we get from TVs and typical light bulbs is usually blue or white, which tells your body not to produce a lot of melatonin. And when we're getting ready to go to bed, we want our body to produce melatonin. So if you are doing your bedtime routine or bath or something like that um, in a room with bright lights, you can switch to yellow or amber light bulbs. You don't want using, you know, to use like a hatch or something like that that has lights that change color and change to yellow. You need the actual bulb so that you have the correct filaments in it because a lot of sound machines and things still have blue or white bulbs and then they just have a little film that goes over the bulb to change uh, the color of the way the light looks, not necessarily the different light. So you want to get these yellow or amber night lights. You can get red also, but red looks really weird and makes your house look like a haunted house. So I don't ever tell my parents to get red because it looks really weird. So you can get yellow or amber. You can get the actual bulb to go in your lamp or in your overhead light, or you can get um, pre-made night lights that have this and you can look up products that are non-circadian rhythm interrupting. Then the Eclipse Blackout Curtains. This is why I like this brand so much. These are the brand that I use myself. You can see it. my house is very, very bright. We have a lot of windows in our house. And, but my kid's bedroom is like a cave. Um, these blackout curtains are very, very thick. A lot of times you can buy things that say they're blackout and you really can see a lot of light through them still. So you wanna make sure they're actually good and dark. The Eclipse brand carry, um, has a version that's called a thermal curtain. And so they have a foam backing on the backs of these curtains where if you live in a house where the windows are really drafty, the cold can interrupt your child's sleep. So having this thermal backing keeps the cold out of the bedroom, keeps the heat in the bedroom, and then makes it even darker than the curtains without the thermal backing. So like I said, my kid's bedroom is like a cave. I have to go in there. They're older. They're seven and 10, but I still go in there during the day and open the curtains up to wake them up because if I don't open those curtains, it is really, really, really dark in their bedroom, which is good. That's what you want because you don't want light telling your brain that it's time to wake up whenever it's time to sleep. You also wanna get a darker colored curtain. So I've seen a lot of parents who maybe in their daughter's bedrooms have white or pink Sometimes the lighter colored curtains can still reflect some light, but you want the curtain to absorb the light. And the only colors that really absorb the light are the super dark colors. So uh, Eclipse Blackout Thermal Curtains. I had one mom actually tell me recently about a curtain rod that is a blackout curtain rod, which is amazing. It goes really, really, really close to the wall. So then you don't have light creeping out the top of where the curtains go, which is really amazing. So I hope you found those helpful. Those are my top five, actually six uh, sleep products, mostly for newborns, but a couple of them are for older kids too. Um, and as always, if you need extra help, please reach out, cindy at holisticsleepcenter.com.